What's happening, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. We are Cars and Cameras, and we just had a major victory with the cross cart. Not only did we just do 82.9 miles an hour, but we also just installed front brakes, and they seem to work pretty well. Not bad. We haven't come down from like 70 miles an hour yet, but it'll be fine. So today we are making, well, we are installing our gauges, tachometer, speedometer, and we're making a guard for our hands as well. So if we roll over, our hands won't get crushed. Okay, the plan is we're gonna go as wide as the frame here with a seven inches on top, which should give me about an inch of clearance uh, with my, well, from the top of the steering wheel. So my knuckles are gonna be close, but not on it. So it'll help protect the gauges and our fingers. And we're gonna leave room for paddle shifters, right? Sure. Cue the Jaws music since it's going to be harder to mount it on the steering wheel uh, I was, we got this nice bar here i was thinking maybe we could have a couple of paddles on the bar because to be honest most of the time i'm going to be shifting is in the straight line so we can make the paddles nice and tall too so like even if the wheel is turned we can still probably grab paddle yeah i mean a little a little bit although we've got to watch for our knees mm-hmm mm-hmm so we're gonna grab some pipe and use the tubing bender at Ike's Warehouse. See you there. Right, guys so we didn't tell you but like we were sure that someone had stolen our gauge cluster because it was gone turns out ike just left at the auto parts store <laughs> i'm so glad we went back and checked dude <laughs> Woo! i know i feel relieved Too wide. Now what we could do is we can uh, trim this in the middle and try to bring it a little closer together if we like this height. Or I can, uh, were we wanting this close to the steering wheel like that or are we wanting to lean it? Ooh. Yep. So the wheel is going to block some of the gauges, but I mean, we can see 20 through 70 miles an hour, and that's probably where we're going to, where we're going to be spending most of our time. <laughs> So at this point, I'm working on the bracing for our dashboard and hand protector. Ike's working on the tachometer drive. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We got a bunch of great content coming down the pipeline, including Mini Mayhem, 2,000 Acres, all our favorite projects, all our subscribers' best projects, tearing it up, having a great time. And those are my favorite videos, and you're not gonna wanna miss them. This looks like precision, my dude. Um, uh, I, I took this off the uh, original tachometer drive. I'm going to clamp it onto the new tachometer drive. It's the uh, funky end. I've taken a brand new speedometer cable and the old cable and put them together. 
Okay. What I did is I used the out, outside case and the uh, inside cable right here, but I took the ends off the old cables and put them on the new cables. Cool. So I'm ready to put it on and give it a shot. You ready to give her a shot? Yeah, let's test it. That's a win, my dude. Thank you. I need to go to the hearing doctor now. I think I've got a solution for our Speedo. Uh, we have an old, uh, is this gonna be a CT70? Yeah, it's brand new though. Brand new CT70 Speedo drive. And what I'm thinking about doing is turning down a skateboard wheel to fit down in here and turn this gear that's in here. And there'll be enough of it hanging out that we can position it somewhere off the sprocket or the hub here. Anyhow, there's many things under this cart that spin with speed and we could get a uh, reading off of it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Yep, and we're gonna make sure that wherever we mount it, we can adjust it too because yep. it's probably not gonna be right the first time. No, no, we're not gonna, boy, if we got it right the first time. We would be, be magicians. Yes. I think this looks sweet. It does. So we got the gauges mounted, we got the tachometer working, we got our hand protector mounted, and we have our supports for the hand protector mounted as well. Couldn't get around to the Speedo because we need parts. We still have a pretty long list of things left to do on this. We have cooling fan, paddle shifters, switches, lights, pour 15, um, and some other things that are top secret right now. We are still planning on putting bigger, more aggressive tires on this thing, but we're pretty limited on a eight inch wheel. We're still looking though. Ike's got something to say. Oh yeah, I got something to say. Yes, the Speedo cluster is not in the most ideal position being right behind the steering wheel, but if we would have had it where we could see everything, it would be like totally in the way. And it just looks silly. Yeah. I like the way how it's tucked down in there. And honestly, for me, I can see the speed and the tag on You can see everything pretty darn well. I can see everything. Yeah. I can see everything pretty well. The only thing, <laughs> the one thing that's the most important that I can't see is the oil light. <laughs> yeah, be I mean, I'll send it. The police are here and they want to talk to us? Really? You're kidding. Dude, the police are here. Seriously? For real. Let's go talk to him. So our neighbors and the local police have been really, really cool with us making noise and running around for the past few years. But yesterday, a few officers came by and basically told us to knock it off uh, in a very nice, polite way, of course. Um, but basically, long story short, we're not gonna be leaving the yard. We're not gonna be riding around the neighborhood anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's totally understandable. I mean, we used to be running around with just stock 212s, but now that we have straight pipe 750s, it, you know. And Ducartis. And Ducartis, yeah, there's a lot of noise happening. So, a uh, little bit of a bummer, but it was bound to happen. And, you know, our neighbors and the cops have been cool for so long that this was just, this has been a long time coming. So, I feel like this is just a moment for us right now. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think the 750 was like the straw that, that broke, broke the, the camel's, camel's back. back. Absolutely. So uh, I'm in the process of looking for more property for us to ride on. So until I find us some more property to ride around on, we're going to be riding just in the yard, just in Ike's yard, 
probably Busco Beach. But wanted to let you guys know that that just went down. Hey, it's all right. We still have a golf cart and some CT70s we can ride Those around here. Those are street here. legal. Yes. So. That is very true. Speaking of CT70s, bam. Isn't that awesome? That's what mine's looking like. Yeah. I'm still making a video of it. But anyway, thank you for watching this video today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras. And uh, support the channel by picking up one of our t-shirts or hats at cars-cameras.com. Here's a little sneak peek of the cross cart. Ready? Can they see it? Yep. Boop. Okay, that's enough. So anyway, we still have a bunch of cool stuff in store for the cross cart uh, for my Trail 70 and other projects as well. Uh, check out what we're up to in between videos on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.